ruh -roh. There might be another universe, like a dark mirror image of ours, where time flows in reverse. This flipped-over world might also be the source of dark matter, the invisible substance that's all over our universe. There might also be many more universes out there, in which an exact copy of you woke up this morning, but it chose a white t-shirt instead of a red one, sending it on a completely different life path. But let's start with this elusive dark matter. It makes up most of the universe's mass, yet we're not sure what exactly it does or where it comes from. That's because it doesn't act like regular matter. We can't see it or feel it. We just know it's there because of how it seems to bend gravity. Even though regular matter and dark matter are very different, they seem to exist in a balance. Some scientists think this must be connected somehow. A new theory suggests that for every way regular matter moves, there's a mirror version of it in the world of dark matter, like a bridge connecting the two worlds. There's also a strange coincidence in regular matter where a neutron and a proton have almost the same weight. This allows them to stick together and make atoms stable, making everything that we can see with our eyes exist. If protons were a bit heavier, there would be no balance and atoms wouldn't form. In the dark mirror universe, maybe things happen differently. Maybe in there, the equivalent of a proton doesn't bind to other particles, leaving behind lonely neutrons, which could be the source of dark matter. This theory also suggests that dark matter might have its own chemistry, like dark atoms and a dark periodic table. For the longest time, scientists believed there was just one type of dark matter. Although these particles are similar in some ways, like being almost invisible, they may vary in their sizes, speeds, and how they affect regular matter. If this idea is right, it means there could have been interactions between our universe and the dark mirror universe in the past. Studying how elements formed in the early universe might give us clues about this. The idea of a flipped world has sparked curiosity and even some confusion in the scientific community in recent years. Astronomers use a theory called the Lambda-CDM model to explain the composition and behavior of our universe. According to it, most of the universe is made of two things – dark energy and dark matter. Dark energy is like the pushing force that makes the universe expand faster. Dark matter is this invisible thread that pulls things together with its gravity, acting like a universal glue. Regular objects, like stars, planets, and comets, only make up a small part of the mix. The model also tells us about the Big Bang, and how everything started from a hot, crowded beginning, and how the universe has been growing and changing ever since. While this model seems to be correct in many ways, it doesn't explain all cosmic phenomena. If you were to draw this model on a piece of paper, it would look like a series of flat pancakes stacked on top of one another. Each one of the pancakes represents a rendition of the universe at a certain point in time. Yesterday's universe would stand below that of today, but it would be a slightly smaller pancake. By the end, you'll see that the universe's history looks like this giant upside-down cone, with its minuscule tip being the Big Bang. Beyond this point, we can't see any further away in time with the tools we have. So we don't know what's beyond. More so, we're still not even sure what happened immediately after the Big Bang. But if we simply apply the math, the universe might go beyond this historical tipping point, which could mean it could go in reverse, creating a similar mirrored cone where time would flow backwards, in our perspective at least. This alternative idea not only challenges our understanding of cosmic origins, but also raises questions about fundamental principles in physics. All the excitement around a mirrored universe also came from ANITA, a scientific instrument stationed in Antarctica and its discoveries. This device saw some weird high-energy particles seemingly bursting from beneath the Antarctic ice. The problem with these particles is that they didn't behave as the laws of physics dictate. Scientists think they have a type of cosmic rays. 
they travel from space through the Earth and back out again. But the particles we already know about shouldn't behave like that. That's because higher energy particles usually collide with something inside the Earth and don't come out the other side like these do. They seem to be doing things both forward and backward. For now, there's no concrete proof of a mirrored universe. These particles could simply be ones we haven't discovered before. And scientists need to study them closely to come up with a definitive answer as to why they're behaving like this. Kind of like four-year-olds. But what if there isn't just one other universe, but many more? This multiverse concept comes from ideas like the inflation theory, which says that our world had this rapid expansion in its early stages. While inflation stopped in our neighborhood billions of years ago, it's likely that it continues in other regions of the multiverse, creating different universes with their own laws of physics and unique characteristics. Our universe is the only one that we know of that can support life. We have stable stars that can provide heat and warmth, for example, which is crucial for creatures to start moving around. We also have an abundance of elements, like carbon and hydrogen, which we also need to exist. The multiverse hypothesis gives an explanation for why our universe exhibits such life-friendly conditions. It may explain that there are countless other universes out there, with varying conditions, making the existence of life in at least one of them less likely. One fascinating implication of the multiverse theory is the idea of doppelgangers, these exact copies of individuals existing in parallel universes. This notion suggests that within the vast expanse of the multiverse, there could be infinite scenarios where identical versions of ourselves are experiencing similar events at the same time. Before we begin our travels to different universes altogether, we might need to understand our own. There's this galaxy, for instance, far from us, that might have no dark matter at all. It's about 250 million light years away and looks normal at first glance. But if we look closer, we can't seem to find any dark matter. If it turns out that there are more galaxies like this one, it could change our ideas about how galaxies are made. Dark matter is usually thought to be necessary for this process, acting like the glue that holds the whole thing together. It is true, however, that this particular galaxy is more faint and has fewer stars than usual. When it was first discovered in 2019, scientists thought it might not have dark matter because of how fast it was spinning. The speed at which a galaxy spins tells us how much stuff there is in it. By comparing this speed with what we can see, astronomers can figure out how much extra stuff, like dark matter, must be there. And in this unique galaxy, the math says there isn't any. Among all these theories, there's also one that says dark matter might not be real at all. This new study proposes that maybe we've been looking for something that doesn't even exist. They think that our understanding of gravity might not be good enough to explain why some galaxies behave oddly. So instead of dark matter causing these weird behaviors, they say it might just be that we don't fully understand how regular matter works. They base these findings on a theory called modified Newtonian dynamics. It suggests that gravity behaves differently at very large distances or very low speeds. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.